Have you spotted some of your rose leaves looking distorted, tattered and peppered with small holes? The most common cause are capsid bugs. I'm going to quickly show you how to identify the damage caused by these irksome little bugs and explain why they can be tricky to treat. So what do capsid bugs look like? Can you spot the capsid bug yet? Three, two, one. Say hello to our rather diminutive foe or friend. Stay watching. The common green capsid bug in Latin, Ligochorus pabellinus, is the capsid bug you're most likely to find on your rose plants. This master of disguise is bright apple green and just six millimeters or a quarter of an inch long. Because capsid bugs are elusive, when you do spot them, they tend to move out of sight. Most rose plant pests, such as aphids or sawfly larvae, are quite still and static on the rose plant. Yet, in contrast, capsid bugs can crawl, jump, and even fly between plants. Sadly, by the time you see the damage caused by capsid bugs, the bugs are long gone. So that's why, like I said earlier, treating these elusive, flighty capsid bugs is difficult. Time for some quick science. Capsid bugs are small, sap-sucking insects which feed on the new shoots and flower buds of many plants. The capsid bug pierces the plant with its needle-like mouth part. The capsid bug then travels away to start the whole process again. Back on your plant, this destructive feeding process damages the young plant cells. At this point, the damage is really hard to see. But as the rose leaf or flower continues to grow, the small feeding holes expand too. That's why you've got these tattered rose leaves, peppered with holes like an old warship sails. When capsid bugs feed on the rose flower buds, the damage sometimes stops the bud from opening. One more point before we get to treatment. Roses aren't the captured bugs' only target. For example, you can see a capsid bug on this straw flower bud. Capsid bugs can also cause dramatic symptoms on many other plants, like Fatsia japonica. So how do you treat capsid bugs? Insecticides like pyrethrin can control capsid bugs, but you would need to apply insecticides to the young flower buds and shoots before you can see the damage. Also, applying insecticides won't be good for all the other rose-loving insects like pollinating bees. Thankfully, capsid bugs on your rose plants do not cause long-term harm. The rose plant can still photosynthesize. Damage is mostly cosmetic. Phew. But if you don't like the look of the damaged shoots and leaves on your rose plant, you can prune them out. If you feed your rose, it will quickly grow plenty of healthy new shoots. So, there's only so much you can do to control capsid bugs. Capsid bugs are one of those problems rose growers simply have to learn to live with. Next time you're admiring your rose plants, why not try to find a capsid bug? They're frustrating, but they really are quite beautiful little bugs. Wishing you healthy plants and happy gardening.